वेलकम टू हिमानी कोचिंग सेंटर एट हिमानी कोचिंग सेंटर वी आर कमिटेड टू सिंप्लीफाई कॉन्सेप्ट एंड एम्पलीफाई कॉन्फिडेंस ऑफ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर वॉचिंग अवर वीडियोज टू लर्न मैथ्स फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू टिग्नोमेट्री फॉर क्लास टेंथ सी बी एस सी एज वेल एज आई सी एस सी बोर्ड स्टूडेंट्स एंड दीज क्वेश्चन आर रिलेटेड टू कॉम्पिटेंसी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ यू लुक इज इन अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल देयर इज एन एक्यूट एंगल पी सच दैट टैन पी इक्वल्स ट्वेल्व अपॉन फाइव वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ सेक नाइंटी माइनस पी सी वॉट यू कैन डू इज let us draw a triangle quickly and let us say this is that p so in a right angle triangle if this angle is p this is 90 what would be the value of this it has to be 90 minus p because this plus this is 90 okay now tan p is 12 by 5 so that means opposite so this is opposite is 12 adjacent is 5 and we have got a right angle triangle so in order to find the hypotenuse which is h what will we do h square equals 12 square plus 5 square most of you would have got it that it would be 13 because this h square is 169 and h is equals 13 so this is 13 now to find sec of 90 minus p now we have to look at this angle now what is sec sec is h by a so h is 13 and adjacent is 12 so the answer is 13 over 12 okay If you are watching the video for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Please uh, give likes to the video, give your invaluable comments, and share the video with your friends. Now let us look at the other question. Here two statements are given below. One is labeled assertion A, other is labeled reason R. Read the statement carefully and choose the option that correctly describes the statements. a and r so assertion a says value of tan 20 equals tan 60 by 3 c tan 20 okay and then they are saying that it is 1 by 3 of tan 60 which is wrong okay see if they had said 20 is equal to 60 by 3 then you know tan 20 is equal to tan 60 and by 3 inside the angle not outside so this assertion is wrong similarly in the next part they are saying reason for an acute angle theta tan 1 by 3 theta equals 1 by 3 tan theta with the same logic even this is wrong so we will choose option 4 okay now let us look at this is a case study question so a rough diagram is given below for the uh, view of a slide view of a proposed water slide which has to be constructed in a water park so we are given the diagram there is slide 2 here slide 1 here this is 3. Point, uh, 5 meter 3.6 meter yeah i am just zooming it a bit so it is 3.6 meter and slide 1 is here now see what is the question saying it say it is asking us to use root 2 as 1.4 root 3 as 1.7 now the first question is what should be the measure of angle between slide 2 and ground if the length of ab is 1.2 root 3 meter so ab for this question is 1.2 root 3 and they are asking us this angle theta so this is opposite this is adjacent so what will we say we will say tan theta equals 3.6 over 1.2 root 3 okay now 12 3 is a 36 so tan theta is coming to be root 3 because 3 divided by root 3 is root 3 and when is tan theta equal to root 3 when it is 60 degree so we will choose option 3 okay now you can just note the question i mean note the solution and then i will erase it and go to the next question okay now let us go to the next question i will have to 
again you know reduce it and then zoom it again maybe to solve so let us first read the question the question is what should be the value of tan agb if the length of slide 2 is 6 meter length of slide 2 is 6 meter means now this length here is 6 okay they are asking us to find tan agb which is this okay and if you see what have they given they are not asking angle they are asking in terms of fractions okay so let us now go to this see if you have to find tan agb this is equal to ab over bg okay bg we know is given 3.6 so how do we find ab so it's a right angle triangle so to find ab what will we do we will say ab square equals ag square minus bg square yeah pythagoras theorem so it is 6 square minus 3.6 square you can use a plus b and a minus b that would be better so 6 plus 3.6 times 6 minus 3.6 so this would be 9.6 into 2.4 now 9.6 guys if you can you know remember i mean do the factors actually it is 4 times 2.4 so i will just write it as 4 times 2.4 into 2.4 and that is equal to ab square so what would be ab square root of this so which is 2 into 2.4 which is 4.8 so tan agb which is to be found should be equal to ab which we just got as 4.8 by bg which is 3.6 now in the table of 12 12 fours are and 12 threes are so i think that option number 1 is given as 4 by 3 and that is the right option okay you can note down the working and then i will erase it or you can pause the video later and note down the working okay now let us look at the next question where we are asked that if the slide 1 makes an angle of 150 degree with the flat part that means this angle is 150 degree with the flat part and fd is 8.5 so from here to here is 8.5 what is the height of the top point of slide 1 which is e from ground so we have to find this height okay e to c out of this this much is already known why because this is given as 3.6 so we can just do this 3.6 meter so our job is to find this and see if this angle is 150 this is linear pair this would be 30 degree okay so in order to find the part ed what will we do in triangle efd we will say that tan 30 degree is equal to ed by fd so 1 by root 3 is equal to ed by fd which is 8.5 so ed equals 8.5 upon root 3 in the question they have said take root 3 as 1.7 so 17 times 5 so now what would be the answer then 5 is this much and 3.6 you add them and you get the answer as 8.6 okay now let us go to the next question you can just note down the working now let us go to the next question okay so i will just erase this as well now the question says what should be the length of slide 2 what should be the length of slide 2 if the angle between slide 2 and ground is 30 degree so basically this angle is given as 30 degree and they are asking us to find this length okay so which is hypotenuse so if you use soca toa so opposite we know hypotenuse is to be found so what will we do we will simply say sin 
he equals 3.6 by h which is the length of the slide so sin 30 happens to be half so half equals 3.6 by h h goes here 2 goes here so the length of the slide is 3.6 into 2 which is 7.2 meters so this is the right choice okay now the last question is see again this is competency based questions so here the question apparently is from trigonometry but now if you look they are used asking us a question from similarity so it is mixed now so unless you know similarity and trigonometry you would not be able to solve question number seven so here what are they saying they are saying if angle g a b which is this angle equals angle e f d which is this angle and angle AGB, I will use a different color, which is this angle, equals angle FED, which is this angle. So then they are asking which of these is equal to sec of angle GAB. See, sec of angle GAB is this angle they are asking. Okay, GAB is this. So sec is what? H by A. So if you look, this is your uh gab so this happens to be opposite and this happens to be adjacent this happens to be hypotenuse so sec of angle gab is equal to what it is equal to a g h by a which is a b correct so now just see sec of angle gab is equal to a g by a b now let us go to what is the information given? See, if these two angles are equal, then triangle GAB becomes similar to triangle EFD. Okay, it's the case study question, so we don't need to write, but for your understanding by AA rule. Okay, now if that is the case, then if the triangles are similar, then what is the rule? Corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So, AG by AB then should be equal to EF by FD. So this should be equal to EF by FD. Now if you look at cos of angle FED, so cos would be what? This is E. So cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. So it is ED by FE. So not possible. Then look of cos of angle AGB. So come here, AGB is this one. So cos of AGB is what? Adjacent, which is GB by AG. That is not done. Then look to cosec FED. Now go to this. Cosec is what? H by O. So H is FE and O is FD. So this is what is the right answer okay so this is how you figure out this kind of question now let us go to next question and here uh, the question asks us consider the statement given below in a right triangle the value of cos a is equal to root 2 for some acute angle a is the statement true or false give a valid reason so guys remember if you look at any right angle triangle okay so let us take this ABC right angle triangle and if you take any angle so let us say they have said A only so what would be cos A here so cos A should be equal to adjacent which is AB by AC correct now AB by AC and in a right angle triangle hypotenuse is the longest side that means AC is greater than AB so if your numerator is less than denominator the fraction will always be less than one while root two is more than one 1.414 so what will we say we will say this statement is false and give this reason that since ac is greater than ab ab by ac will never be cannot be can't be 
more than one so that is the answer for this okay again this is a question with where your application of knowledge is being tested okay so just be careful and whenever you are studying keep an eye on applications also that whatever you are gaining in knowledge where can that be applied now let us look at this question the next one it says there is a right angle triangle pqr we are asked to find measure of angle qpr and they have given this this is 2x 4x 2 root 3x so this is q and pr so we can just do this uh, this is opposite this is adjacent so that means tan of angle qpr would be equal to 2 root 3x by 2x x and x cut 2 and 2 cut so when is tan equal to root 3 when it is tan 60 so that means angle qpr is 60 degree that's all you have to do it's a one marker question now let us go to the last question for today's video which is a proving question so here they are saying prove 1 plus tan x plus sec x square equals twice of 1 plus sec x times sec x plus tan x now students again you have learned identities in class 9th if you do not remember that then it it will become a problem for you so always keep an eye on whatever you have learned in 10th 9th that would be used so now we are going to utilize this identity okay so just give me a second uh, i need some more space so let me write from here so a plus b plus c whole square equals a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times a b plus 2 times b c plus 2 times c a this is what you have learned in class 9th now if you look at here in this 1 plus tan x plus sec x your a is 1 your b is tan x and your c is sec x okay so if we use a i mean take lhs now so we will say taking lhs you rewrite this and then what will this be it would be one square plus tan square x plus sec square x plus two times tan x into one so a is one so one into tan x would be just tan x plus two bc so two times sec x and tan x plus 2 ca now c is sec x so 2 times sec x because 1 multiplied with that will just remain this now so you have to give this identity then solve this now remember another identity which you have learned is that 1 plus tan square theta equals sec square theta so we will use that and replace 1 plus tan square x as sec square x and then we have plus sec square x plus 2 tan x plus 2 sec x tan x plus 2 sec x okay now can you see sec square x plus sec square x will become 2 times sec square x so let us do that so rewrite this as 2 sec square x plus 2 tan x plus 2 sec x tan x plus 2 sec x. On the right side, we have to get this. So now let us take 2 common because it is there in all. So you take 2 common and we are left with sec square x plus tan x plus 2 sec x tan x plus sec x up till here students is it clear so i want you to just make a note of this okay because i will need some space so make a note of this and then i will just remove certain uh, things and we will do it yeah so let me remove the part above you can you know rewind the video and see it again it's a simple question just that if you do not remember the identity okay then it becomes bit 
cumbersome because you won't be able to apply the identity then in that case i would suggest you know do 1 plus tan x plus sec x and multiply it with itself that will take too much time also okay so better to remember the identity now let us go back see in the thing we can now rearrange so i can write this as sec square x plus and since i have taken two common so this two also goes yeah that's a mistake from my side i threw an oversight i wrote it again so it would be just because two is common so we would be just left with this so now we are rearranging sec square x plus sec x tan x plus tan x plus sec x okay now from these two what is common sec x is common so let us take that so sec x and we are left with sec x plus tan x here from these two nothing is common so one is anyways common so we get sec x plus tan x now what will happen so we have actually got the answer so now it is two times sec x plus tan x times sec x plus one and this is what is equal to rhs and hence proved qed so this is how we do this question and with this we come to the end of today's series students keep on watching our videos we have done so many series i am giving the link in the description if you have not watched it already do it because from this year onwards like from 2025 the pattern is changing 50% of your questions in CBSC and ICSC board is going to be competency focused questions okay so the pattern is changing you should be prepared don't get scared rather get prepared and we are here to help you out in your journey of you know giving the exams with confidence okay share the videos with at least 10 of your friends and help us spread word. Thank you.